Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and replace the O-rings on your power adjuster, on your FX Royale. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming the same procedure would be done for other FX models. Um, so the first step would be to insert a 2 millimeter Allen wrench into the left hand hole here uh, where the Allen screw is, is in here. This screw holds down a spring and ball bearing so when you rotate you hear it click into each position that's what's going on in here you definitely want to remove this one first because um, you can get yourself in trouble and damage the spring like I did um, so it's not quite coming out uh, so sometimes you gotta kinda poke a, an allen wrench in there to get it kinda loosened up and uh, wiggle it around in there to to free up the spring and the ball bearing so just be very careful because it's easy to lose uh, see I got mine out of there now Here's the spring, and I'll set that aside. You gotta be very careful not to lose. And then the ball bearing just rolled out as well. There we go. And don't lose it like I almost did there. Okay, now so the uh, second step would be to remove the second Allen screw here. I have this one locked down fairly tight, and that uh, you'll see what the purpose of that second one is. So now the power adjuster is actually free. To pull out with a little bit of effort um, and so this is the assembly here the right allen screw locks down this section and the left uh, which allows the rest of it to rotate and you can see it um, adjusts the diameter of the transfer port um, so you got that really small hole really large hole for high power and a medium hole uh, so I actually had one of these O-rings blow out, which um, I noticed a very uh, quick reduction in power. I bought replacements from the O-ring store, um, one millimeter by eight millimeter, and uh, it's actually not the correct hardness. Uh, it's 70 hardness, 70 O Buna N. Um, it's supposed to be 90, but it's the only one I could find easily, so that's the one I replaced these three O-rings with here. Um, so to reassemble. Um, you just put it back in in reverse. If you want to actually take these two pieces, these rotating pieces apart, um, you would uh, remove this center Allen screw there and these two pieces then become free. If you're an uh, adjuster, I've also found I over tightened this center screw and I was reassembling at one point uh, and that it became very hard. Uh, these two pieces would not turn. Um, so to reassemble, if you're interested, um, I just line up the slot to be vertical along with the that doesn't really matter what orientation the hole is in. Um, so you just want to make sure that this slot is faced up and so it'll align with your locking screw when you slide this back in here. Uh, so then you take uh, your locking screw which I left in there uh, just turned out so you just turn this back in get that snug um, then you drop your ball bearing back in this hole here left hand hole, drop your spring and this screw so when you tighten this screw back down in you don't want to over tighten it or under tighten it um, so what I do is I just screw it in there until I start feeling tension so you know you're pressing the screw against the spring um, and uh, if you get into a place where it it's locks into each position nicely so the ball is falling into the detent uh, then you're then you're pretty much set. Um, if you want it to be easier to turn, you can back it out a little bit, but uh, then it doesn't lock into the positions quite as nicely. Uh, so that's about right, right there. All right, thanks for watching.